What's up, everybody? What's up, you guys? It is Vlogmas Eve. Vlogmas Eve and we starts are tomorrow. Celebrating. Oh. We are celebrating with a drink. Getting things kicked off right. We are partnering with Basil Hayden's on today's video. You guys already know this is our bourbon of choice. Yeah. We drink it all the time. So we're gonna make some cocktails tonight. So yeah, so that we do like a little cocktail session, a little happy hour kind of like cheers before a crazy month. Totally. You know, hang out, make some cocktail recipes. This is my drink for the holiday season. That's Thanksgiving. Right. Y'all saw I had it at Thanksgiving. Yep. Drinking it for the holidays at Christmas time with my family. Like it is a the drink of choice. Yeah. And not only the drink that like I serve when people come over to our house, but it's a really great gift that like I take when people are hosting us. Yeah, I take them a bottle gift. of basil hayden's. So we have a couple bottles here. I was torn, I don't know which cocktail I'm making yet. They have a whole website of cocktails. Their cocktails are so good. We made the, yes. if you guys watched our last Fritz and Chips, we made a John Collins um, from their website with the Basil Hayden's, or that was what, that's yeah. their recipe is what it's called. Um, and we're gonna try two new ones today. They have, it was, that was a Basil Hayden's John Collins. Yeah, yeah. Basil Hayden's John Collins. Uh, but I actually whipped out a different bottle of Basil Hayden's today because they do have a dark rye. And what's nice about the dark rye, it's actually Kentucky straight bourbon mixed with, or it's blended with Canadian rye whiskey and port. So it kind of adds like a little sweeter flavor. It's a really nice rye whiskey to mix with like different cocktails as well. And they have a couple options uh, using this on their website as well. So I'm gonna scroll through their website real quick. I'm gonna pull it up and pick a cocktail for me. Do you know what you're making? Yeah, I'm making a whiskey sour. Whiskey I'll get sour. started while Hunter is uh, working on his. Y'all go ahead and grab yourselves something to drink. If you have Basil Hayden's, then do it. Um, okay, so my whiskey sour, which is two parts Basil Hayden's straight bourbon whiskey. Okay. Making a one now? So, a whiskey sour. Whiskey sour, nice. All right, so we are gonna do, wait, should I do this side? Probably a little bit. It's up to you, yeah, what do you want? I'll make a big one, why not? One part Basil Hayden's, two parts Basil Hayden's, okay? And then we're doing three fourths of a part simple syrup. Three fourths of a part simple syrup. I don't like mine as sweet, so maybe I'll short that a little bit. Three fourths of a part lemon juice, so I think I'm just gonna squeeze half of a lemon in. That's a good call. And just, you know, I'm assuming it's gonna be the right amount. Okay. And then we've got to shake it with some ice. So put some ice cubes in there. And have Hunter probably do the shaking. Oh, it's a strain. Should I get the strainer? If you want to grab it, yeah. I'm, I'm just going to shake it real quick. Yeah. And oh, that's how you get that foam. You got to do the bartender shake, you know? We we'll pour that back in there. Beautiful. And then we do a cherry. This is a maraschino cherry. There we go. Nice. Perfect. Okay. So right. there's the whiskey sour. So I'm gonna try it. Oh my god, it's so good. Okay. <laughs> one and one, a half. One and a half parts basil Hayden's Kentucky Straight oh, Bourbon there. Whiskey. All right, then we're doing one part orange liqueur. One and a half part orange liqueur. Wait, how much? How one part. One part? So one of those. We'll go a little shorter on that. So I prefer just the basil hand taste. Um, okay, and then you're gonna do half part lemon juice, which I would just, yeah, do the whole thing. Half of a lemon. Yums. And then you're gonna sh shake that thing up. Okay, now it wants you to strain it into a rocks glass, but with like a couple of cubes. And then I'm gonna strain it. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And then you're gonna Where's garnish it? with a lemon.
Alrighty. Now you gotta twist it. So I got a piece of lemon, and I'm gonna twist it over. Just like that. A little garnish. Cute. So I have a bourbon Basil Hayden sidecar. And I have a Basil Hayden's Whiskey Sour, and it is Both are good, so you guys. freaking delicious. I really like, I truly love all the cocktails we made from their website. They're yeah. really simple recipes. And they're balanced. They're, so, they're not yes. too sweet. They're like a good amount. Like, they're perfect. This and if, if you find them too sweet, you can always like just take away some of the additional ingredients. But yeah. they're so good. Definitely recommend. Check out their website, and we'll include the information down below. I drank a John, their John Collins um, earlier this week, so I was stressed, and... It was perfect. I wanted to make a quick toast to the start of Vlogmas that is starting tomorrow. That's right, baby. That we will be stress-free. Okay. That we will allow you all to be stress-free. You can come to our channel and just like unwind and relax yeah. and feel the holiday spirit and be like one big family for Christmas. Totally. Cause this year has been a tough one and we're going to get through it. Vlogmas is going to be so fun. And we're gonna keep the spirits high. Yes. Yeah. And no matter how much end. work it is for us, we will get you a video every single day. Yes. And we will not argue this whole entire month. Yeah, right. Alrighty. Cheers, cheers to that. These are so good. I can barely, like, it's just so smooth. Mm -hmm. I don't know the basil hayden's like every cocktail. I want to switch. Yeah, let's try. Yum. Yours is good too. Yeah, Yours is kind of like a margarita vibe. Oh really? A little it's bit. It's probably because of the orange liqueur. The orange mix, liqueur. But it's a tequila, it's bourbon. That's okay. amazing. So we're going right. to darts for a little bit. We're that's why we're, oh, by the way, that's why we're out in the garage. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to play a little bit of darts and we're probably going to go on a walk here in a second. Yeah, we'll take Goosey on a walk. We might pour our drinks in some mugs and do a little happy hour walk. You guys know we like to do that. Yeah, and we are, this might be a shorter vlog because we started filming, we started filming later in the evening because they've been doing a lot of work in our bathroom still, as you know. Yeah. It's basically it's done. Our time. It's basically done, but like they're doing some final things with some like power drills and stuff. So we figured we'd come hang out here, unwind yeah. a little bit, just get prepared for tomorrow because it's gonna be a big day. Yeah. Um yeah, you wanna play some darts? Yeah, we're gonna play some darts. And Goose has been cooped up. A little cooped up with the renovation. He yeah, he had to like you know he would get in their way and it's dangerous with the nails and everything so he's been having to stay in our yeah. room or like my office in the backyard he kind of revolves we've been trying to get him walks each day when we can but yeah. like we've been really busy as well this has been our busiest month i think yeah in november leading into a busy december we're really excited we just know like we've been trying to prepare for it so yeah hope everyone has a great time watching let us know, know. if there's anything let's get some time. vlogmas requests going down below what do you guys want to see what kind of like Christmas activities should we do? Um, do yeah. you want more cocktails? Like, what do you guys want this Vlogmas? Just let us know. If, Sky's the limit. If y'all know any like fun Christmas games to play or things to do with like family members, that's like COVID friendly where we can do like some video uh, chats with family members yeah. and play some kind of like trivia games or you know things with friends, stuff like that. Let us know. We're always looking for something like that. Yeah. And we'll bring you along for all the festivities. I think we're actually gonna video chat tonight and yeah. enjoy like a little cocktail over video chat with them um, and you know just decompress yeah. have a good time that's a covid friendly activity a little you know video chat happy hour i i feel like this uh, i did those a lot during the first yes, lockdown and i feel like it's about to happen again so i do too we're kind of racing ourselves yeah kind of ready to embrace like the time at home again i know like make, like i'm make prepared the this time you know like i know exactly what to expect yeah and you just kind of figure it out. You Everyone, know? just be prepared. Basil Hayden's your best let's, friend let's during enjoy. lockdown. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. As y'all know, Julia's family was in town for Thanksgiving. Her, well, just her parents and Jelly was here for like a little bit, just yeah. a day or two. But they've left. We've now been able to like kind of clean up the house a little bit, get things picked up, and hoping to wrap up the renovation process, get things yeah. finished and completed. And like continue decorating. That's what I I'm know. Really excited for is like continue decorating like the rest of the Christmas decor. We've already done a lot. Well, it's pretty much done. I kind of want to keep it minimal, so mm -hmm. there might not be much more. Um, but we're thinking, I'm like, should we put Christmas lights on the house? Should we not? We've actually never done Christmas lights. Yeah. We want to, but they just seem like 
sometimes so expensive for like you only really get to see them when you drive up to your house but the neighbors right. across the street i oh, will show you guys when the sun goes down um it's like happy hour right now they have crazy yeah. holiday lights so we'll show them to you so when you walk out there it's kind of like oh there's my show it's like boom it's yeah like the red it's white like, a, like every other candy cane it's like a candy in, cane yeah. house it looks amazing yeah um we got some good lights in our it is really bright head. the first day yeah. we walked out it was like oh yeah just like, oh. i know oh yeah, candy cane. All right, so let's play some darts. Yeah, let's do it. When we play darts, we always play and we keep score on our phone. There's like a really cool app on your phone that you can keep score if you're interested in darts. And we would recommend darts, especially if we're going to another lockdown. Like it's oh a my god, yes. Home thing. Come out of here, enjoy a little Basil Hayden's cocktail, and play, play some, some darts. darts. It is so fun and addicting, guys. It, even for me, like I was like I would never like darts, and then Hunter like had me start playing. It is. So fun and you like can't have your phones so it's like a little bit relaxing it's so nice we love it we haven't played in a while huh? I know. all right so usually we'll play music on one phone or we'll pull up on the tv and one of us keeps scoring you can grab your phone and yeah let me keep scoring on it where is it the pocket I already have it okay I already pulled it up what do we want to listen to let's get the party started wow i haven't played in a while i gotta stretch it out stretch it out um, the basil ends will help me loosen me up Still got it. We still got it. Yes. Well, only one. We only got 19. We only got 19. Oh, I missed darts. It's seriously so fun. We used to play so much. When what vlogs were those? When we played. That was. Oh, I got a also. A couple months ago, we were playing a lot, and we got too busy. Wait, why'd you mark 19? Oh, it's 18, sorry. 18 and 20? 18 and 20, let's keep going. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, the leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, the You're like, yeah. It makes me feel like I'm talented. A gifted and talented. You are talented. And actually, since we didn't, I didn't make a cocktail with the dark rye, I figured we'd do a quick little tasting and both test her out. So, oh, yeah. I want to do a tasting of the Basil Hayden by itself. Just a small little, small little pour, as well as a small little pour of the dark rye. Still working on my cocktail. Uh -oh. That was a big pour. We have the garage open, so people are driving by. All right, so let's do the regular first. Okay. And actually, I'll leave this right here just so you can see what it looks like. We're gonna try the normal first. Okay. So Cheers. Straight. And we're not gonna shoot it or anything. We're just gonna like sip it. Yeah. Get a little taste of it. Little smell. It doesn't taste as a uh, smell as like like strong, like it's gonna burn. Potent. Which I like about whiskey and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Are right, we gonna try it? Mm. It's pretty smooth by itself. I like it. Okay. I feel like if you're like as a female, this is like such a drinkable whiskey. whiskey bourbon. Yeah. Bourbon whiskey. All right. Now on to the dark rye, which is Kentucky straight rye whiskey, like we said earlier. Yeah. Blended with Canadian rye whiskey in port. So it's a very different oh, flavor. Nice. Okay. Flavor profile, Smart. which is nice. Yeah, a little, little sweeter. You can smell the sweetness, like just the smell itself. The yeah. scent is a little sweeter. And I'll, we'll sip it. A little more, um, you can taste the port in it. Totally. You know? It's nice. We want port tasting in 
Porto. In Porto, Portugal. Where port is made, and this kind of took me back to that. I like it's like a fusion of the two. It's nice. We're leaving. You're leaving. Oh, See you guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks. No, our contractors are leaving right now, so I had to say bye to them. Yeah. But yeah, it didn't this take you back to Porto a little bit? It does, but I like it because sometimes um, port is like too rich, so yeah. I like it with like mixed with the um, the whiskey. It tastes really good. It's a, like a, the blend. Of yeah, it. it's a really nice. It's how blend. like a red like a red cab, and then yeah. like a red blend. It's much like softer. Yeah, I feel like this is really nice, and this would be really like fun to drink like after dinner or something after dinner cocktail. Yeah. Like you just drink it neat. And I saw like, a couple cocktails on their website using the dark rye, which is kind of cool that they have cocktails using either one, whether yeah. it's the straight bourbon whiskey or the dark rye. So yeah, test them both out. I'd recommend them. Like I said, I take these to parties as gifts, as well as like my go-to choice to serve. Because it's a bourbon that like everyone can drink, and including women. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, great hostess gift, or you put pop it in like a little gift bag, and it would be a really nice gift for somebody. Oh, it'd be a nice gift for somebody for the holidays. Yeah, totally. So, anyway, let's go walk, walk in. I already finished my drink. You still are sipping yeah, on yours. Yeah, I gotta keep going. I'm gonna get another one for the walk, okay. but this is delicious. The uh, dark rye, it's fantastic. All right, not only did we leave our drinks behind for the walk, we actually left our camera behind for the walk, so we missed that. We're just trying to have some zen time. <laughs> yeah, we figured we'd just like go by ourselves and kind of like wind down and wanted to go like further than normal just to give Noah some like energy relief. Because are you excited for Vlogmas? It's starting tomorrow. Did you tell them <laughs> you're so excited. He's been kind of like chill ever since we got home and we're starting dinner making some Caesar. Signature Caesar salad tonight. So good. But we just wanted to say we're so excited for Vlogmas tomorrow and we'll see you guys then. Yeah, can't wait. Like it's gonna be like, this Vlogmas will be better than any Vlogmas we've ever had. Because we Definitely. have so much going on with our renovation. <laughs> there is so There's, much to see. Yeah, and actually we have some really fun surprise announcements. We'll keep you posted as Vlogmas Goes on, goes on and unravels. Oh, and we're doing giveaways. So stay and we're doing giveaways, of course. So stay Obviously. tuned tomorrow. We'll let you know everything that's happening. All the details. We'll keep you posted. And we'll see you guys it's beginning tomorrow. to look a lot like Vlogmas. Vlogmas. Bye. Bye.